welcome back to the channel today is sunday how are you guys doing today it is beautiful today yesterday i had planned on getting out guys i didn't i didn't know actually i said i didn't know what day i was going to go out but i knew that i was wanting to walk a little bit this weekend for some exercise i've been trying to exercise been doing a little bit of light exercise in here lifting weights trying to get these arms back right you know I, they're not really flabby but you know i'm used to them being a little bit more toned than this so i've been doing a little exercise and i'm getting ready to get my walk on out here got one of my masks that my friend sent me i'm gonna wear this one today and i'm gonna take you guys with me this is just a chit chat just talk just share my thoughts with you guys thank you all who viewed my latest video who left comments i appreciate you guys um, more than I can say for the support that you guys have been giving my channel. I'm trying to stay consistent and active on the channel and just being um, authentic and honest about my thoughts. And today is just going to be one of those chit chat while I'm walking. Try to show you some nice views because it's beautiful and sunny today. I think it's going to be around mid 70s. It's right at 70. So I have a jacket on that I'm going to throw on so I won't be out here if it gets cold. I did wash my hair earlier and it's still a little bit damp, but I know the sun will help it to dry some. So hopefully that'll happen and I'll catch no cold. Hopefully, I don't think I'll catch a cold, but but yeah, I did wash it earlier today and get out here in this sun, guys. So I will see you guys outside, all right? here it's still got a little cool breeze in the air but it feels pretty good and I got a jacket in case I get a little nippy it is beautiful though hope you guys can hear me pretty good so let me get across the street and I'll get back with you Okay guys, I'm having a hard time finding a spot <laughs> because there's a lot of people out exercising today and I'm just not real comfortable being around a lot of people yet. <laughs> and they are out here today more than usual, I guess because quarantine is lifting somewhat and more people are feeling more comfortable with coming outside. And here's the thing for me that they don't feel the need to have any type of protective gear, you know, at all. My thing is I can understand maybe relaxing it a bit if you are not around people, but to just be, you know, hand in hand with people. I don't know if y'all can see some of this going on. And, you know, just unprotected. 
a lot of people out here today. So, and this is really the biggest park that's closest to me because it's on the river. And I didn't want to walk to one of those other parks that I always take you guys to. I wanted to do something different. So I decided to come down to, to the river, which I guess I can relax it right now. Where I thought maybe, I don't know why I thought that, it's Sunday. <laughs> anyway, let's see if I can find me a good place to sit where I can chat with you guys. I'm gonna try to find me a place. Let's see if I can sit over here. If the lighting is good. Hey guys, so I found me a little spot away from everybody. I'm here at the what is this called? This restaurant. The um, Bill Street Landing. And it, you know, it has not been open since they close. It's a little river, uh, riverfront restaurant. Real cute. But I'm sitting on the outside of it and uh, let y'all see this development that's going on. This gentrification here in Memphis. So up here is all of the new condos that are coming up on the hill here. And that building way over there. The wood, you see, that's going to be a Hyatt hotel and suites yeah if I pan back to my right all the way down there those homes up there are like million dollar homes or over million dollar homes that overlooks the river so you can imagine that these are going to be very high end condos and apartments that's coming right here but yeah guys just wanted to um stop in today and just chat with you guys i'm feeling a little anxiety today it's like every time sunday comes i start to feel a little anxious i guess and i think it has a lot to do with me having to go back to work having to go back in the environment where i'm being exposed to a lot it's a it's, it's amazing how this situation and i'm trying to refrain from using words because i don't want my videos to be You guys know what I'm talking about because uh, this whole new monitor, uh, monetization thing have you have you uh, actually going through your own videos and determining if they should be monetized or not based on the content and what you have in it but um, I lost my train of thought really. but yeah what I was saying is that this whole situation has caused a lot of anxiety in people because you just don't know what to expect you know with everything that happened with this whole situation and not truly knowing what the situation really is or what how it all happened what's true and what's not as far as how it spread it how it got around the country so fast and around the world so fast it's really hard to to understand and so it causes anxiety. The mind is powerful, guys. I'll relax my shades for a moment so you guys can see my, my eyes. The mind is very powerful. So that's why you have to exercise it just like you do your body. Because if it's exposed to any one particular thing too much, it can actually alter your thinking. So too much of anything can be bad for you. So you have to be careful with that. So I try to balance it by when I feel the anxiety coming on that I know it's time for me to relax it. And I thought I could come down here and get me a nice walk in the cool breeze with the beautiful sunshine and serenity and quiet. <laughs> I should have known that. Everybody was going to have the same idea that I had. So yeah, anyway, let's keep going. One of my favorite spots to sit.
So I'm in my normal little spot that I come when I walk down to this park. I can't find anywhere else. I wanted to really just walk around, but I can't really find any place that's not kind of overly populated. So I'm here, but I really just wanted to encourage you guys today um, about dealing with the anxiety that's going on within us right now. It's hard, and I don't think it's anybody that has been exempt from that. Even those who have the 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 deepest of faiths have actually experienced a little bit and a little bit of anxiety even if it's not about you it could be about a loved one a child you know grandchild because we have concerns about the people that we have in our lives that we that we love and we worry about them and we want to make sure that they're they're good and they're doing the things that they should because you know how children can be children feel like they are just <laughs> invincible and that things can happen to them so even if you're not worried about yourself you're worried about somebody or concerned about somebody so anxiety is something that we all will have to deal with during these times and it's important that when you recognize it that you get on top of it and so when I feel it rather than let it overtake me I think of what can I do um, to try to ease it and I as I've always told you guys this vitamin D, this sun, just beaming down on my skin here, guys, is all that I need. You know, God has a way of knowing what you need. You know, healing is within the earth. You know, even though we have medical professionals, doctors of all types, when this earth was created, everything was put into this earth that we need for healing. And we just have to learn how to tap into it. One of the things that that I am going to do, and thanks to some of my um, ladies that I follow here on YouTube have inspired me to get started on some things. I wanted to create an herb garden, and I don't have a, a yard, so that's one of the reasons why I had uh, hadn't you know considered doing anything. But I seen where people were doing like patio. Uh, herb gardens and just gardens in itself, you know, starting it in little pots and things like that. And I actually Googled um, indoor herb gardens. And I'm going to, you know, do some basic things like basil and thyme and, you know, um, chives and things like that that you can actually grow on the inside. And it has inspired me to be um, more aware of being health conscious, growing my own foods, and things that's gonna keep me healthy. So I think that will be not only good for me internally, but it's very therapeutic, very therapeutic for you. And um, just being able to be aware of that. Coming out of this, I think it's gonna be a lot of awareness of health and um, what we all should be doing, tapping into the things that's within this earth that naturally was given to us to make sure that we are where we're supposed to be, things that can combat um, anxiety and stress naturally. I don't subscribe to drugs, guys. I'm just gonna let y'all know that off the top. I haven't had any type of drugs outside of maybe occasional um, Tylenol or something in over, I say 15, close to 20 years. I don't subscribe to that. Going through my menopausal experience I never subscribed to any type of drugs to to help me with that I did it naturally and although some people you know are stronger than others you know we do know that I just don't believe in medicating myself with man-made creations I just don't do it and I thank God that he has kept me pretty healthy I have never had any issues where I needed to medicate myself to control anything so I'm so thankful for that but coming out of this and I see that things are easing up y'all can see the people are out and next week is going to be that first week of easing out of things I think for us I think our mayor is going um, to May 5th but May 1st you know, people are gonna be relaxing a little bit. I, I think it'll be at least another month before I sit in and dine in a restaurant. Not ready for that, but we have to ease back into normalcy. So we have to be aware of what we need to do to make sure that we can do that. So if you're dealing with stress and anxiety, find out what it is 
try different things for yourself. It could be a relaxing bath, you know, or sitting listening to music, sewing, um, crocheting, you know, whatever it is that you know that you enjoy doing. I see some people out here on the water. Let me turn the camera around. There's people out on the water, guys, that are canoeing. And that may be relaxing for them. They're away from everybody. So that's something that they're enjoying, you know, to give them relaxation and maybe ease the anxiety that we all are dealing with. You know, tempers are flaring. People are being, uh, you know, accusing people of, of things, you know. Some people said this is a black people disease now. When we originally heard about it, it started in China, and now it's a black person's illness. You know, where's all this coming from? You know, I, I hate the fact that as the world goes on, it seems that we're more geared toward that R word. I'm not gonna say it on my channel, but we know what we are. We know where we come from, and we know what we're capable of. And it's time for us to rise up and show that, guys. It's time, time for us to not be so always offended by what people say and show them who we are, what we made of. And it's time for that, guys. And I wish it could be equality for all people, that we could actually live together in harmony. But all of this is happening for a reason, guys. <laughs> it really is. When I come outside, I see what's, what beauty that surrounds us. And there's so much more to see all over this world. And I plan to live so that I can do that, guys. If it's God's will. Yes. If it's His will. So guys, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog. I'm gonna head over here and find me something to eat. Call in an order of something. Don't feel like cooking anything today. And these are the steps I'm trying to conquer. <laughs> run up. I'm walking them up today. I'm not gonna run today, but yeah. Eventually I'm gonna get whacking them. Let's run them twice. But I wanna close out the vlog today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Got anxiety? Don't lay around any guys. Get up and do something. Don't let it overtake you. This is gonna pass, guys. I can't give you a time frame of when, but it will. And trust me, we're gonna be better for it. We're gonna come out victorious. We're gonna come out wiser. We're gonna come out stronger come out united brothers and sisters we gotta unite guys i'm out of breath i'm out of shape <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching remember always y'all know what i say peace and love and i love y'all so much i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart have a great rest of the weekend what's left of this sunday and a fabulous week we got to look at it in a positive light. All right, guys. Bye-bye.